hey man, something bothering you? Well, now that Erased is done, I have nothing to watch. Oh, come on, don't be silly. That's the beauty of Crunchyroll. There is always something to watch. Like what? Well, you and everyone can check out this season's new lineup of quite promising animes like Kiznaiver, Bungo Stray Dogs, and ReZero, with yet another free trial by using the link crunchyroll.com slash domics. Whoa! Awesome! Yeah! Uh, I still miss Erased though. Yeah, it was a pretty good anime, wasn't it? I mean, can you believe the killer was- Back in senior year of high school, I had just recently broken up, uh, well, dumped, by my ex at the time, Jessica. I mean, as much as I didn't deserve someone like her, I was still sad, you know? Being dumped just does something to you and your self-esteem, and I definitely needed something new to keep me occupied and help me move on. I did have Taekwondo, but my other ex was still also there. I had video games, but that also got pretty lonely at times. I really just wanted to surround myself with people, which was kind of odd coming from an introvert. So I decided to join a sports team. Yeah! While I liked playing certain sports, I never really thought I was good enough to be part of a team, especially in America where they take sports like EXTREMELY SERIOUSLY. On top of that, my short height definitely put me at a disadvantage in many aspects, and as much as I want to believe you when you tell me, NONSENSE DOM, YOU CAN DO ANYTHING IF YOU PUT YOUR MIND INTO IT, I'm just being honest and realistic. I'm not the main protagonist of some sports anime where I have some sort of dormant hidden talent that can only be awakened through a 24 episode arc. Anyway, I checked out which teams were available and I decided to join the track team. It was a simple concept sport. You literally just have to run. I might have been heavily influenced by all the animes I watched as a kid, but just being able to move really fast appealed to me. By the way, don't run like this. I had a kid try to run like this on the team and my coach totally roasted them and ruined their dreams of being Hokage. This wasn't my first time doing track anyway, so I thought it would be fun to do it again. There was, however, this connotation that if you did track, it was because you didn't make the cut from another sports team, but it was kind of obvious who joined the team because they genuinely liked track, and those who joined just because their friends did and wanted to hang out late after school. Anyway, I sign up, and the first practice was a week later. I show up and see a few familiar faces, some of which were my friends, so I was glad that I had people to talk to. But there were some familiar faces that I did not particularly find appealing. My ex, along with Buttface McGee, that she started seeing soon after we broke up. And by soon, I mean like days, like not even a week. Why are you testing me? So I had to deal with that, and it was funny because I knew that they knew that I was uncomfortable seeing them together, so they tried super hard to like be subtle about their relationship. Like, when we had to stretch, they'd purposefully, like, be away from each other, or if we had to do certain running activities, they'd try to be in separate groups. But whether it was out of respect and understanding for me, or, I don't know, fear? That only lasted, like, two or three practices until they decided to just do whatever they want. In hindsight, I guess it was kind of a good thing that they were there. I saw them as rivals that motivated me to push myself to my limits. And after a while, it stopped being about trying to beat them, but more about trying to build my self-discipline. I mean, I still didn't enjoy their presence, but after a while you kind of just stop minding it. Track was a great outlet for me, and helped me get my mind off a lot of things. It also helped me boost my confidence, because whenever we went to track meets, I was pretty much always the shortest kid on the track. It's pretty damn intimidating being there on the starting line, and you look at your competitors towering over you with their long, lamppost looking ass limbs. Like, you know one of their strides equal like three of yours, but you can still compete with them on even grounds. But one of my fondest memories in my time during track was when my coach asked me to be the anchor leg for the 4x400 meter relay, which is basically the person who runs the last stretch. Now, I wasn't the fastest sprinter on the team, I can admit that much, but my coach did see how much my times improved over the weeks in practice and thought I could handle this responsibility. As much of an honor as it was, bricks were coming out of my butthole because I was so nervous and worried that I'd let the team down. Oh jeez, okay, we, we can do this, okay, come on, Steven, give us a strong start, yeah, uh, okay, okay, you're last, but... That's okay, cause, cause Mark's gonna pick it up from there. We're, 
We're not that far behind. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Good. Good. Okay. Second is good. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Mark. Yeah. Shh. Okay. Okay. After Daniel. Ugh, okay. It's me. Okay. No worries. Daniel's a beast. Uh, okay. He'll get us a good lead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, okay. Okay. Don't. Don't focus on the lead. Okay. Just. Just make. Just make the smooth transition, and go! And I just freaking went full ham adrenaline super saiyan captain falcon mode. I bolted it and ran as fast as my short hamster legs could go. Final 100 meters, last stretch, there was no one in front of me. I was so surprised and in such disbelief that I just had to peek. And one thing our coach told us never to do was look back, but I did. I did, and there were maybe two guys on my tail. Just that, oh crap, this is pretty close realization gave me the extra boost to summon up whatever energy I had left and expand my lead gap. We won. Well, not the whole track meet, but we won that specific event. And while it may seem like a small accomplishment for some, it meant a huge deal for me. So I guess moral of the story is, if you're trying to decide what sports team to join, pick the one with your ex in it. Or someone you hate, I don't know, just looking at them will piss you off so much that you'll be able to run like Sonic. Also just following up on what I mentioned earlier, you guys can sign up for a 30 day free trial of Crunchyroll Premium by going to crunchyroll.com slash domics or by clicking on the link in the description. What does premium membership get you? Unlimited anime, manga, and drama titles, newest episodes as soon as one hour after airing in Japan, professionally subtitled episodes, advertisement free and in 1080p. And on top of that, the app is available on pretty much every device. Thanks again to Crunchyroll for sponsoring this video. Hope you all enjoy your anime marathons.